Our Magner 700 and 900 series self-service coin centers are a result of our design thinking approach, focused on what our customers have asked for. Simple operation, positive experience, minimal interaction, and most importantly, when in use, quiet and non-disruptive to the branch, which we accomplish by operating at the optimum speed to meet noise reduction requirements. The two series are identical in operation, features, and internal components. We offer two cabinet style choices, a modern sculpture design and a traditional design. Both easily blend into today's branch environment. Unique to the 900 series is a panel of LED lights integrated into the top deck, which will indicate machine operating status and can be adapted to your institution colors. Simple operation. Instructional prompts on the display walk a first time user through the operating process. Place coins on tray. Press Start button, push coins to right, and the words Start Counting in the lower right corner with digital prompts direct the user to the Start button. A coin flow gate prevents a user from feeding coin into the machine before pressing the Start button. After the button is pressed, the gate will open and the machine will start. As coin is pushed into the coin hopper, the display will show the incrementing dollar amount. Rejected coins will appear on the display below the dollar amount if something has been rejected. It could be a damaged coin, foreign coin, or a slug. When the machine senses there is no more coin in the bowl, it will stop, reverse itself, and start again to be sure no coins are remaining in the bowl. The machine then stops and displays, counting is finished, and the dollar amount. Restart counting appears in the lower right corner with digital prompts directing the user to the start button if they still have additional coins to count. Print receipt appears in the lower left corner with digital prompts directing the user to the print button. When the print button is pushed, the display shows a receipt coming out and reads, please take receipt below. The receipt is retrieved from the opening on the right front door of the machine labeled receipt issued here. Below the same is a label, Rejected Coin Return, directing you where to retrieve rejected coins, if there have been any. The receipt is printed on Magner security paper to deter alteration and has a UV ink design on the reverse side for additional authentication to help prevent duplication. A Magner Model 4-in-1 authenticator is used for this verification process. Your institution's name and branch location appear at the top followed by a non-resettable transaction number, date, and time. The coin processed is then summarized by denomination and a total is provided. There can be no fee or up to two fees, which will be indicated on the receipt and will show a net total, making redemption simple for the teller. Below the net total will appear rejected coins if there have been any. This serves as a second reminder followed by instructions to please bring receipt to teller line for processing and receipt must be redeemed at this location on the date issued. This wording can be individually customized. Both series are available in two configurations. The model 709 and 909 are full sort by denomination to nine individual coin bags. The models 728 and 928 are mixed output to 8 coin bags set by weight up to 50 pounds each. The mixed coin is counted by denomination and fed mixed into a coin bag. When the bag reaches its preset weight, it automatically switches to the next bag. Both models operate the same. They share the same advanced counting technology and sorting mechanism. The interactive touchscreen display provides error status messaging enhances balancing, end-of-day reports, and transaction history, as well as giving instant access for bag status to assist in bag removal and reporting. Large double doors provide easy access to both the counting mechanism and the coin bags. All key touch components are easily recognized by the universal green color. Dirt and foreign objects mixed in with the coin will cause problems with any coin machine and requires more interaction by staff. The integrated debris removal tray captures the majority of dirt, foreign objects, and liquids from the coin into a trash drawer below prior to the coin going into the coin hopper. The entire counting and sorting mechanism pulls out on a shelf to allow easy access for cleaning or jam removal. 
Two additional internal cleaning mechanisms after the coin enters the machine are all part of our design thinking to achieve minimal intervention. First, a continuous cleaning mechanism removes sand and other small objects during the counting process. After the counting is completed, an automatic debris ejection system removes non-coin debris to a trash receptacle. Coin recognition is performed by an advanced alloy count sensor that detects coins using 16 different parameters for the highest degree of accuracy and automatically rejects foreign coins, tokens, and slugs from the coin mix. Easy access to the coin sorting rail. In the event of a coin jam, nothing is out of sight. Spindles for the storage of extra receipt paper rolls are provided in the left rear. The receipt printer and paper roll are located on the inside of the door for easy access. The bag management section is easily accessible in the front of the machine below the pullout shelf. All coin bags sit directly on the floor of the machine to minimize lifting when changing bags. Let's do a comparison of the two models, full sort versus mixed output. The models 709 and 909 are full sort with exact bag stops to nine individual coin bags. Configurable in single, double, triple bags by denomination. Programmable for Federal Reserve half or full bags. Typically there are lower armored carrier costs for processing full sorted bags. The advantage with sorted coins is that they can easily be recycled if this is something you want to do. The models 728 and 928 are mixed output to 8 bags set by weight. Bags can be set for up to 50 pounds per bag. 8 35 pound bags estimated 42,000 mixed coins. 8 50 pound bags estimated 62,000 mixed coins. HR restrictions may mandate a weight limit. Some armored carriers may charge a higher processing fee for mixed bags of coin than for fully sorted bags of coin. It varies according to your relationship. The advantages with mixed output is greater capacity, so the machine stops less frequently, requiring less interaction by staff. It only stops after all eight bags are full. As you have seen and heard throughout the presentation, our entire approach to self-service coin has been through design thinking. Our products are completely different from anything else on the market. Your goal or expectation is to offer a service to your depositors, not disrupt the branch with noise or create a burden for your tellers. Magner believes we have accomplished your goal. The 700 and 900 series are just part of Magner's full line of money processing products. Please visit our website to view our full product line.